The music of William Onibar is maybe best described as <laughs> electronic Afrofunk, but it's nothing like anything else out there. And I think that's really what it is. It's unique, and I think that's what's so great about it. William Anyabar is um, kind of this uh, Nigerian weirdo who wears cowboy hats and uh, doesn't talk to anybody and lives in a mansion and refuses to uh, perform his own music. And um, so we do it for him. Why go to war? Why not peace? The ultimate experience is experiencing it live, you know? And we have this fantastic kind of like core group of musicians. Everyone coming in from all over the world. So, you know, at this show we have Goche, which is really exciting. I first heard William Onyebar's music some years ago where the label that I used to be involved with, Luakabop, did a collection of um, West African kind of psychedelic funk tracks. How did you first hear of William Onyebar? A friend of mine said, you have to listen to this. Really? Which is usually the best way to discover yes, music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. um, and then that same friend also said when, uh, when I was asked to participate, he said, you have to do this show. <laughs> it does have that, like other Afrobeat music, that long, you know, yes, sometimes a... meandering jam aspect to it. But then, yeah, in, in beautiful ways, these odd refrains and things will pop up or there'll be a little left turn where you don't expect it. Oh, I needed a total road map. <laughs> <laughs> So the band rehearsed for about three months, learning the songs exactly as they are recorded, which is a really tricky thing because even the things that sound very simple are incredibly complex. So we try to keep it true, and then as we kind of like experiment, which I think this project is about too, is experimenting and kind of pushing the boundaries and kind of like doing things that could really fail. <laughs> and that just works so well. And uh, I think you'll see that in the, in the performance. It gets to be incredibly emotional, really beautiful.